we go. Rob Moore teaches because he could do. Moore is the Titans wide receivers coach, and if anyone doubts his credentials, he can simply tell them to turn on the tape. Moore played wide receiver for a dozen years in the National Football League. The Jets took him in the first round of the 1990 Supplemental Draft, and he spent five years in Gotham before heading to Phoenix for seven years with the Cardinals. Moore caught over 600 passes for over 9,300 yards and 49 touchdowns. He was named to a pair of Pro Bowls and was once named All-Pro. Oh, and Rob Moore has coached wide receivers for a dozen years. So when we asked Rob Moore to talk about Julio Jones, we knew we found the very best person to discuss the seven-time Pro Bowl with. Julio Jones is a great athlete, I've got great length, uh, phenom phenomenal at, at tracking the deep ball, He's got unbelievable range because of his length, has long speed, extremely competitive, uh, a great teammate, and a future Hall of Famer. I think one of the characteristics that make him most unusual is his ability to go from speed to power. When you look at him, you watch him in the weight room, see, you see the weight that he throws around, and you see his ability to be able to go from being a nimble, fast, quick guy to all of a sudden being powerful and explosive is really incredible to watch. Players that, that try to defend them, you know, they have a, a dilemma. Do you get up there and you press them and then get overwhelmed by the power and the length of them? Do you play off where he can, you know, use his, his size and his, and his length as separation at the top of routes? You know, he, he can play bully ball, you know, he can, he can play the, you know, play that game where you want to play off me and give me space, you know, I can take advantage of that. You just kind of got to pick your poison, man. Which one do you, which one do you want to live and die with? And when I first saw him, I was just shocked at how long he was. When you look at his strides, you know, sometimes as coaches, we give guys steps and yards. Well, I mean, he's got to be a yardage guy because his steps are abnormal compared to other guys. Now here's my favorite Julio Jones stat. In his 10 plus years in the NFL, he has averaged 96 receiving yards per game. That's number one on the all-time list. Calvin Johnson is number two on that same list, averaging 86 yards per game. And when you consider the 100 plus year history of the National Football League, that number is staggering. That's an incredible stat, and, and I, I did not know that. I wasn't aware of that, but really what that, what that tells you is his ability to, to be explosive, his ability to be able to, to catch and run with the football. Uh, everybody has a tendency to think that, you know, God has a, a, you know, 90 yards or 100 yards, and there's a bunch of big plays in there in terms of deep throw. He's a guy that can take a slant for distance. You know, he's a guy that's going to make you tackle him. That's what's uh, so impressive about him is his size and his ability to, to uh, impose his will on people. I think the most underestimated part of the game is, is Julio has a, a really vast knowledge of the game and a good understanding of, of spacing. He really has a, a, a great understanding of, of the big picture philosophy of, of each play that you're, trying to, that you're trying to run. He understands how he fits in that puzzle. He understands, okay, this, we need him to do this so that this can work over here. Uh, and he's willing to do that. You know, some of these guys, if they're not getting the ball, they're, they're disinterested. He's a, he's a good team player.